पेज नंबर 178 द इम्पॉसिबिलिटीज माने नामुमकिन हैव बीन अचीव थ्रू साइंस नाउ मेरिकल्स माने मौजे आर हैपनिंग डेली साइंस हैज गिवन पावर एंड सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस माने खुद एतमादी टू मैन इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ साइंस दैट टुडे मैन इज द मास्टर ऑफ ऑल राउंड हिम साइंस इज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ मैन एंड इट हैज डन एंड इज डूइंग मच इन द सर्विस ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी नंबर वन साइंस हैज शॉर्टेंड डिस्टेंस साइंस हैज शॉर्टेंड डिस्टेंस इन द पास जर्नीज एंड ट्रेवल्स टुक मच टाइम पीपल डिपार्टेड माने जुदा होना फ्रॉम देर रेलेटिव एंड फ्रेंड्स विद सैड हार्ट्स नाउ दोज डेज आर गॉन वी कैन ट्रावर्स माने तय करना लॉन्ग डिस्टेंसेज इन जस्ट अ फ्यू आवर्स द फास्ट मूविंग ट्रेन एंड एरोप्लेन आर डेयर टू हेल्प अस टेलीफोन टेलीग्राफ एंड द वायरलेस फ्लैश माने फैलाना द न्यूज अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इन द ट्विंकलिंग ऑफ एन आई माने पलक झपकते ही सिटिंग बिसाइड योर रेडियो यू कैन एन्जॉय मैच बींग प्ले थाउजेंड ऑफ माइल्स अवे ऑन टेलीविजन यू कैन नॉट ओनली हियर द स्पीकर बट ऑल्सो सी हिज पिक्चर वायरलेस इज ब्रॉड द कंट्रीज क्लोजर द वर्ल्ड इज नाउ लाइक अ कंपनी द बॉन्ड्स ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप एंड द टाइज ऑफ लव बिटवीन द पीपल ऑफ डिफरेंट कंट्रीज हैव बीन स्ट्रेंथेंड माने मजबूत हो जाना साइंस हैज ब्रॉट मैन नियर टू मैन and it is a good service number 2 science has provided amusement in the past life was drudgery mane bekar there were no amusements the people worked ate and slept conditions of life were hard now the radio amuses us the cinema entertains us electricity mane bijli is our maid servant she does every impossible and difficult job for us it moves the fans heats the rooms illuminates mane roshan karna the rooms and cooks page number 179 our foods there are de- calculating machines in short life has been made easy and now it is not a bed of thorns mane kante as it used to be in the past number 3 science has controlled diseases disease mane bimari was monster mane bala in the past Now medical science has helped us fight against many diseases. Death rate has been reduced, माने कम होना. Now the dead can be operated upon. Surgery has wonders. Now heart transplant, माने पैवंत कारी, is possible. Grafting, माने पैवंत लगाना, can replace useless or ugly parts of the body. Hunger and famine, माने कहत, struck the people in the past. Now the famines break out very rarely. माने बहुत कम अरसा में प्रोग्रेस एंड रिसर्च इन द फील्ड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर हैज इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन फर्टिलाइजर्स माने मसनू खाद नेवर अलाउ द सॉइल टू गो बैरन स्विफ्ट मीन्स टू कम्यून स्विफ्ट मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन हैव मेड इट ईजी टू कैरी ग्रीन फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर सो वी सी द साइंस हैज ब्रॉड कम्फर्ट एंड प्लेजर फॉर मैन काइंड इट हैज रिड्यूस्ड ह्यूमन मिजरी It is right to call it a friend of mankind. Mane bani no insan. Essay number nine: Importance of agriculture in Pakistan. Number one: Pakistan is an agricultural country. Pakistan is an agricultural, mane zare country. Seventy percent of the people live in villages. Sixty percent of whom are engaged, mane masroof, in agriculture. Its importance in Pakistan is too great to be overlooked. Mane nazar andaz karna. It is the backbone, माने रीढ़ की हड्डी of the economy, माने मीशत of Pakistan. Pakistan depends to a large, page number hundred and eighty, extent on the yields, माने पैदावार of farmers. By increasing the yields of the farmers, we can improve the standard of living of the people. It is important for the following reasons. Number one, it provides food for the basic needs, cotton for clothing, and wood for house building. Number two. It feeds the industries, mani sanati, of the country, the textile mill, sugar mills, paper mills, tobacco factories, and so many other get raw material from it. Number three, it brings into existence, mani vajud milana, many industries. It has given birth to fertilizer, mani khad, industry, and industries producing farm machinery and insecticides, mani kide mar dawa. Number four. it earns foreign exchange mane zare mubadla cotton rice fruit and vegetables mane sabziyan are exported mane daramat karna to other countries number 2 problems faced by agriculture 
Agriculture in Pakistan faces many problems. There are water logging, mane same, salinity, mane thor, frequent, mane aksar, droughts, mane khushk sali, and floods, mane salab, no proper roads, no arrangement for agricultural loans, mane zarei karze, and marketing facilities. Number three, agriculture is an industry. Agriculture is a big industry in our country. If given proper care and patronage, mani sarparasti, it can give us more wealth than any other industry can. Therefore, it is a crying need of the day to bring agriculture on scientific lines. We should improve our agricultural system and adopt new methods of farming. Our old wooden plow, driven by a pair of bullocks, should be replaced by diesel engine tractors. Small land holdings should be put together and cooperative farming should be introduced. Mani revaj dena. There should be page number 181 special arrangements to teach modern agricultural technique in our schools and colleges. Our agricultural colleges and universities in cooperation with the Department of National Reconstruction should establish research centers for a thorough research on seed, harvesting, manikatai, marketing, storage, crop diseases, Irrigation, Mane Apashi, and other subjects. Number four, efforts of government. It will not be out of place to mention Mane Bayan Karna. Here are the efforts that our government is making to develop agriculture. As mentioned earlier, the main drawbacks Mane Khamia of our agriculture at present are high cost, low produce, water logging, Mane Seem, Salinity, Mane Thor. Illiteracy, manijahalat, lack of credit facilities for agricultural purposes, lack of knowledge and about agricultural technique and cooperative marketing. In all these fields, our government has started its work in full swing. New and cheap agricultural implements, mane ozar, are being manufactured in the country, and a campaign to make them popular, mane magbul, has already been started. Separate government departments have been set up to fight out salinity, mane, thor, and water logging. Education is going to be made compulsory up to primary stage, and in due course of time, this compulsion may be raised up to high classes. Our field workers are being given short courses in agriculture. The Agricultural University at Faisalabad aims at expanding this campaign, mane muhim, with great speed. And it is hope that more agricultural facilities will be available, Mane Mahaya, to our farmers in near future. Agricultural banks have also been started in all the big towns of the country for page number 182. Advancing loans to agriculturalists. These banks will save our farmers from the never ending loans of money lenders, Mane Mahajan. Now they will be able to get loans from these banks against their landed property. Our government is also trying to establish a network of Pakka roads linking almost every village to the city market. The new scheme electric power to every village is also bringing a revolution in Kalab in our agriculture and therefore it is hoped that the future of agriculture in Pakistan is quite bright. Essay number 10 Unemployment Number 1. Meaning of unemployment. Unemployment is an economic term. Employment means occupation. Mane masrufiyat. So unemployment means absence of employment. When the people are out of work, they are said to be unemployed. Mane berozgar. This is a problem which we face today in our country. Number 2. A social evil. Unemployment is a social evil. Mane maasharti burai. Far-reaching consequences, mane nataij. It spells starvation, mane kafila, disease and death as its victims. They have no education, no culture and therefore no concern for right and wrong, good and evil. Dishonesty, mane baddiyanti, corruption, crimes, sin and vices of all kinds prevail in a society where population is unemployed. Politically, unemployment breeds Mane vasi paimane par discontent, yane bet minani, in the masses. Votes are sold and bought. Revolution and mob violence, mane tashadud, are the result of 
Page number 183. Unemployment. People busy in finding out job for them cannot pay attention to their rights and duties as citizens. Number 3. Causes of unemployment. The causes of this widespread manevasi unemployment are four. First, our system of education is wrong. The system turns out a peculiar type of young man. He hates manual labor, money, jismani mehnat. He is good for nothing except reading books and dreaming high posts. Secondly, our country is not an industrial country. We cannot absorb money jazb karna many of our young men in factories because they are not educated technically. Thirdly, in our country, a few privileged persons are keeping all the key industries to them. If work and leisure are equally distributed, all men will have enough of work and enough of leisure. But the educated young men and common men have neither the capital nor the opportunities to try their luck in business. Lastly, in our country, birth rate is very high. The resources of the country are not enough to maintain money, Sahara Dena, such a large population. People are more and jobs are few. The result is unemployment. Number 4. Solution of Unemployment The problem of unemployment is very great and as such it is not easy to solve it overnight, money foreign. But much can be done to mitigate, money come karna, the evils of unemployment. Our young men may be un encouraged to take to cooperative form farming money mushtarka kasht only a few should be allowed to go for university education vocational and training centers should be set up family planning should be followed to check the page number 184 high birth rate it is only after a long struggle that we will be able to solve this problem essay number 11 the value of games and sports number one games in all ages the value of games and sports cannot be underestimated in a society. Since times immemorial, mane na kabile shumar, the exhibition of physical strength and skill has been very popular. In stable and strong societies, great importance was attached to physical health along with intellectual qualities. Olympic Games were held every year in which young men from different parts of the world participated. This served as a stimulation to the society in general. Similar similarly, in all other societies of the world, the display of physical efficiency was common, so sports attracted people in all ages. Number 2. Discipline in Games As times went on, more discipline was introduced in all games and sports. Rules and regulations were formed as in all other sphere of life. With the development in the means of transport, international competitions became easy, so on a broader level, Games and sports became a source of international goodwill, Mane Saak. When the teams of different countries exchange visits, ties of friendship and mutual understanding are strengthened. Mane Mustehkam Hona. Page number 184 continued. Point number 3. Sportsman Spirit. Sports teach young men the value of discipline and cooperation. No game is well played unless the players show cooperation. Moreover, sportsman spirit is cultivated. Page number 185. Through sports, the players learn that games are not played in terms of victory or defeat. Number 4. Enjoyment. It is no less charming to play a game for its own sake. It creates a spirit of getting enjoyment. Mani Lutf. Out of play. The players never suffer from unusual strain. Mani Dabao. Because they are never afraid that they would lose. So a sort of broad-mindedness, Mani Vasiun Nazri, is created in the players which is a precious mane kimti virtue number 5 source of entertainment another great advantage of sport is that they are a source of entertainment mane tafri great publicity is given to national and international games which attract a large number of sports fans public interest in games and sports is based on their entertainment value for instance cricket is a very popular game in commonwealth countries during test matches, there is a lot of enthusiasm, money josh, and interest among the public. Thousands of people of all ages rush to the stadiums to witness the match. In fact, the people spend money to enjoy a mental holiday. In big cities, international games and sports meets attract thousands of people. Number 6. Public interest. Games and sports have great value because they create public interest in good physique and health. 
Clubs are organized and run by people for the purpose. Many people join these clubs and manage them through mutual cooperation. The spirit is a source of democracy and has an educative value. The rules and regulations which govern. Page number 186. These games teach us to create system and discipline in whatever we do. Other advantages of games may be enumerated, but it is sufficient manigraphy to say as conclusion that games and sports are a source of entertainment and guidance in the conduct of life. Sports are the best use of our leisure. Essay number 12. Corruption. Number 1. A universal problem. Today, corruption is almost a world phenomena. Mani manzar. It is, in fact, a universal problem, having existed in all ages. It has clung, mani chimatna, to mankind like an incurable, mani nakable ilaj disease. In view of its general prevalence, mani phelna, scholars have devoted mani vakskarna a good deal of thought and attention to this vice, mani burai. The true reason for corruption is a desire to get rich by any means, mani harzariya. In a free and comp- competitive society, investment of capital, mani sarmaya kari, can yield only reasonable, mani makul, returns, mani munafe, in the long run. But corruption or acceptance of bribes, mani rishwat, promises a rapid change, mani tabdili, in financial conditions. Originally, the police and PWD were notorious, mani badnam, for corruption. But now the ev- evil has spread to almost every department of government. Even courts of justice and education are no exception. Mane Mustashna. Point number two. Disappointment and discontent. Prevalence, Mane Rivaj of corruption has created disappointment and discontent among the community. The machinery of government gets rusted. Mane Zangaludhona. And ceases to work in the intended manner. Corruption decreases. Page number 187. Respect for law and sense of elegance. Mane Vafadari. To the government. In a society governed by corrupt officials, the whole system of moral, ethical, and religious values, mane ekdar, is impaired, mane kharab ho jana. The distinction between right and wrong disappears. Revolutions and military takeovers, mane kabza, become common. Every student of history knows that one of the main causes of the downfall of nations has been corruption. In his famous book, The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, Gibbon has stated that as long as there were even 2% honest men in the Roman administration, the empire lingered on. Mane chalti rahi. Number 3. Factors responsible for spread of corruption. The factors, Mane Anasir, that contribute to the prevalence, Mane Tarvij, of corruption differ from country to country. Those that are common to most countries, including Pakistan, are 7. First, general economic condition of the country is poor and everyone tries to feather his nest. Mane apna ghar bharna. Secondly, the rates of remuneration, mane tankha, muavza, of public functionaries, mane mulazmin, are low, and they are tempted, mane lalash me ana, to accept bribes. Mane rishwat. Thirdly, the general price level and the standard of living are very high, and honest means of a person fail him. Fourthly, social conditions and customs, mane mo ashre ki rasmo rivaj, demand levish, mane andadun, expenditure of money. Fifthly, there exists no strong opinion against corruption. It has been accepted as a common thing. Sixthly, laws confer mane ata karna on the public servants vast powers and discretions mane kuwate faisla. They take undue advantage mane najais faida of that. There are no adequate mane munasib means to prevent corruption for or bring the offenders mane mujrim to book mane muakhsa karna. Aziz Talaba ये ऑडियो रिकॉर्डिंग आपके लिए ह्यूमैनिटेरियन डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अहमदाबाद के जरिए एहतमाम की गई ह्यूमैनिटेरियन डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अहमदाबाद 2011 से अपनी मदद आपके तहत सेहत तालीम और मुआशी खुद मुख्तारी के शोबों में बेहतरी के लिए कोशा है इदारा ने न सिर्फ खैबर पख्तून खाबल के मुल्क भर के नाबीना तलबा की तालीमी मुश्किल और रुकावटों को दूर करने के लिए एफेता मास्टर्स लेवल की निसाबी कुतुब और कोर्सेज जिनमें इलामा इकबाल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी के कोर्स कोर्सेज भी शामिल हैं को ऑडियो रिकॉर्डिंग में मुंतकिल करने का अहतमाम किया है 
تاکہ نابینا طلباء اعلیٰ تعلیم تک رسائی حاصل کر کے ملک و قوم کی ترقی اور خوشحالی میں اپنا بھرپور کردار ادا کر سکیں یہ تمام آڈیو ریکارڈنگس نابینا طلباء کو بالکل مفت فراہم کی جا رہی ہیں نابینا طلباء کے علاوہ دیگر طلباء بھی اس تعلیمی سہولت سے استفادہ کر سکتے ہیں ہیومینیٹیرین ڈیولپمنٹ آرگنائزیشن ایبٹ آباد ای میل ایچ ڈی او اے ٹی ڈی ایٹ جی میل ڈاٹ کام ویب سائٹ ایچ ڈی او آر جی ڈاٹ نیٹ رابطہ نمبر زیرو تھری فور فائیو نائن فائیو فور ون ایٹ تھری ایٹ یعنی صفر تین سو پینتالیس پچانوے اکتالیس آٹھ سو اڑتیس پیج نمبر ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ایٹی ایٹ نمبر فور روٹنگ آؤٹ آف کرپشن ٹو روٹ آؤٹ مانے جڑ سے اکھاڑنا کرپشن اے کمپلیٹ چینج آف دا پولیٹیکل سوشل اینڈ اکنامک سسٹم از نیسیسری ریویژنز آف پے اسکیلز ہاؤ ایور لبرل کین ریڈیوز مانے کم کرنا کرپشن دا ریزن از دیٹ دا ویلتھ ٹارگیٹس مانے نشانہ ایمڈ ایٹ بائی کرپٹ افیشلز آر ویری ہائی سملرلی اے میئر چینج ان گورمنٹ از کوائٹ ان افیکٹیو مانے بے اثر The new government has to rely manen bharosa karna on permanent services for its day to day administration unless the motive of inducement mane tarheeb for corruption is removed corruption will continue four steps however may be of some use first wide discretionary powers should be taken away from individual officials secondly anti corruption department should be made more effective thirdly the minds of the people should be changed by the prevalence of moral values lastly the punishment for corruption should be more exemplary mane ibrat angez essay number 13 our educational problems the present system of education is rotten mane bosida to the core mane taitak it was designed to create clerks for the east india company and later on to supply a number of officer to run the administration mane intizam since the creation of pakistan there has been a cry from the people that the prevailing mane raj system of education should be overhauled mane theek karna today we face many educational problems number 1 not based on islamic principles first our education is not based on islamic principles it is too mane bahut zyada materialistic mane maadi in its page number 189 outlook the result is chaos mane garbar in society the students of today are disrespectful mane beadab to their parents and elders the present indiscipline in the schools and colleges can only be cured mane ilaj if the students are made familiar with the quran we should base our education on islamic ideology we should pursue mane pervi karna western science but we should not forget that we are muslims now islamiyat as a subject has been made compulsory in schools and colleges number 2 a developing country secondly ours is a developing mane tarakki pazir country We need more and more skilled workers, mane karigar. We need doctors, engineers, agriculturalists, technicians, mane karigar in all sphere of life. Our problem is to have more industrial and technical colleges. Education in humanities, mane arts, should remain but it should be restricted, mane mehdood karna, only to a few. We should lay emphasis on science and technical education. This will solve the problem of unemployment, mane perusgari, to a great extent. Moreover, we will be able to get rid of the foreign experts number 3 the need of suitable books thirdly the need for suitable mane munasib books is being acutely felt in pakistan most of the books are foreign published some are published in pakistan but they are not up to the mark mane mayari the learned men and scholars in the country <laughs> must devote mane waqf karna themselves to the writing of new books according to our needs history will have to be rewritten and special reference to the achievements mane karname of our national heroes modern urdu urdu literature should be given a place in this syllabus reading text must page number 190 have scientific ideas in them they should preach our national ideology number 4 system of examination needs change our system of examination needs a dramatic change our examination are not a sure test of one's ability Good marks and divisions in the examinations depend on chance, mane ittifaq, and cramming, mane ratta. 
A good student may fall ill and secure a poor third division. A poor student, mani kamzor talibeni, may cram a few questions and get a high first class. Our education should discourage, mani hausla, cram work, mani ratna. It should take all possible steps to gender, mani paida karna, originality, mani jiddat khayal, of thought and aptitude for research work. Essay number 14, Our National Ideology. Number 1, Pakistan and Ideological State. It is claimed that Pakistan is an ideological, man nazriyati state, or that it is founded on Islam. But most of us, especially the young men, do not fully understand, man e samajna, the principles and objects, man e makasid, which lie behind this claim. In the minds of a large number of young Pakistanis, there exists only a vague notion, man e mubham khayal, of what their elders meant by the ideology of Pakistan. Number 2. Principles of the ideology of Pakistan A. Islam is their nationalism. The first principle of the ideology of Pakistan is that for Pakistan, Islam is their nationalism as well as patriotism. The people of Pakistan came from different races. They speak different languages. They live in geographical territories which are not contagious. Mane, mile hue. Page number 191. The foundations of the state therefore cannot be laid on race, language and territory. The real factor that is common is Islam. Qaid Azam said, whatever else you may be and whatever you are, you are a Muslim. You belong to a nation now. You have now carved out, mane bana lena, a territory. It is all yours. It does not belong to a Punjabi or a Sindhi or a Pathan or a Bengali. It is yours. Hence, the basis of na- nationhood in Pakistan is Islam. We do not believe in idolatrous mani but parastana patriotism we do not believe in worshiping the geographical features of a country called pakistan but we are ready to lay down our lives for the principles of islam hence islam is our patriotism b islam is their secularism the second principle of the ideology of pakistan is that for pakistan islam is their secularism mani mazhabi rawadari and constitutionalism mane ayn ki buniyad pakistan is not a theocratic mane deeni state because islam is essentially a polity mane nizam e hukumat qaid e azam explained this point when he proclaimed mane elan karna make no mistake pakistan is not a theocracy or anything like it islam demands from us the tolerance mane rawadari of other creeds mane aqaid again he said you are free to go to your mosques mane masjid or to any other places of worship in this state of pakistan then islam is a deen mani deen a body of principles which are for universal mani alamgir application as explained by our great leader brotherhood equality and fraternity mani bhai chara of man civilization these are all the basic points of our religion culture and civilization and we fought for pakistan because there was a danger of denial mani inkar of these human rights in this subcontinent mane bare sagir page number 192 3 islam is their socialism the third principle of the ideology of pakistan is that for pakistan islam is their socialism islam has its own economic system the object of islam is to establish a balanced economic order it ensures mane yakeen dilana that no individual can exploit mane najais fayda uthana another It rejects both capitalism and socialism as two extreme mane intaha pasand viewpoints. Qaidiyazm proclaimed on 1st July 1948, we must work our destiny mane kismat our own way and present to the world an economic system based on true Islamic concepts mane tasawwur of equality of man and social justice. The object of the economic teaching of the Quran is twofold to provide facilities for the have nots mane gharib so that they could achieve the living standard of the middle class and to impose mane aid karna lagana restrictions on the haves mane ameer so that they may not step beyond the middle class this gives birth to a good society based on mutual love and cooperation essay number 15 smoking number 1 smoking in the world by smoking we usually mean smoking of tobacco there are many people who are addicted mane aadi hona to the smoking of opium and other intoxicating mane nasha aavar drugs people use various kinds of apparatus mane alat 
for tobacco smoking such as hookah, pipes, cigars, cigarettes and cheroots, money, chirat. Tobacco was first brought from America to Europe. Early one day in 1492, Columbus shipmates saw the people of an island now known as Cuba. Page number 193. Smoking bundles of rolled, money lapete hue, leave. They copied this habit and became smokers. Later on, Sir Walter Raleigh introduced tobacco and smoking in Europe. Hookah smoking was known to the Eastern kings. The physicians, Mani Tabib, used it as a cure for st- stomach troubles. Now, smoking is one of the most popular habits. Even women have caught up this habit. Today, there are 40 million addicted, Mani Adi smokers in the USA, 12 million in Great Britain, and almost as many in France. In a poor country like Pakistan, people smoke away cigarettes of 1,000 million rupees every year. Number 2. Effect of Smoking The habit of smoking prevails Mane Muravaj in every part of the world. Most eminent Mane Mumtaz, doctors of the world, have expressed their opinion about its bad effects Mane Badasrat. Yet the fashion continues. Smoking undoubtedly Mane Beshak invigorate Mane Kuwad Dena one's nervous system after physical and mental exhaustion. Mane Khastagi but its after effects Mane Mahabad Asrat are really alarming Mane Khatanak the smoke contains very small particles, mane zarat, of nicotine, mane ek zahir, which is a deadly, mane khatanak, poison, by breathing and poisonous, mane zahirila smoke, we injure, mane zakhmi karna, our health. The smoke affects the wind pipe, mane gale ki nali, and the lung. The throat, mane gala, and lung disease are, therefore, caused. It is the basic cause of lung cancer, mane sartan. The smokers, Suffer from colds, mani nazla, and cough, mani khansi. Smoking get bad and dirty teeth, which cause other diseases. Tobacco causes bad breath, mani badbu dar sans, and stinks, mani badbu, in the mouth. Eyesight, mani basarat, and digestion, mani nizame hazm, are damaged, mani nuksan pohanchana. There is loss of vitality, mani kuate hayat, endurance power, mani kuate badash, is reduced, and memory becomes dead. Dead smokers, mane bhot pine wale, get heart trouble. It is unquestionably. Page number 194. Mane bila shuba, a luxury. Mane ayashi. It is a waste of money. Tobacco is a killer which causes the loss of as many lives as road accidents. Balzoc, the famous French writer, has rightly said tobacco destroys the body, attacks the intelligence, and ridicules mane mazakurana nations. Number 3. Ways and means to get rid of smoking. Smoking is a pernicious mani nuksan de habit. Once this habit is formed, it is very difficult to get rid of this enjoyable poison, mani mazedar zahir. However, there are some principles and methods which can help a smoker stop smoking. The smoker should take advantage of any break, such as illness, fasting, mani roza rakna, in the normal way of life. He should cut down the quantity of tobacco progressively. He should, during this course, stick mani kaim rehna to a healthy, and reasonable life. He should take light meals, mane halka khana, and plenty of exercise, and avoid mane parhez karna, all contact with the groups of smokers. He should very often change the brand of his tobacco. This change will diminish mane kam karna, his pleasure of smoking, and he will smoke less. He should eat fruit because it has been proved that apples, grapefruits, oranges, and peas reduce the need to smoke. A mouthwash with silver nitrate can destroy a lot of the pleasure of smoking. The first four or five days will prove to be very hard for the smoker, but the difficulty will gradually diminish. Mane kam ho jana. Essay number 16. The problem of beggars in Pakistan. Number 1. Begging a profession and a nuisance. Our problems are many. One of them is the beggar problem. In Pakistan, begging has become a profession. The page number 195. Number of beggars of increasing day by day. There are beggars and beggars everywhere. When the foreigners, Mane Ghair Mulki, visit our cities, they are very much surprised, Mane Heran, to see so many beggars. A large majority of them are sound, Mane Sehatman, able bodied men and women, who can easily earn Mane Kamana, an honest living, Mane Rozi. But with their pathetic, Mane Dardna cries, they are able to excite the sense of pity in the listeners. They roam, man, Mane Phirna, about in so large number in Pakistan that they have become a nuisance. 
माने मुसीबत एंड अ सोर्स ऑफ डेंजर टू सोसाइटी नंबर टू कॉजेज ऑफ इंक्रीज ऑफ बेगर्स देर आर मैनी कॉजेज फॉर इंक्रीज ऑफ बेगर्स इन पाकिस्तान फर्स्ट मैनी ऑफ द बेगर्स आर दोज हुज प्रोफेशन माने पेशा हैज बिन हेरिडेटरी माने मरूसी खानदानी देर फादर्स एंड ग्रैंड फादर्स बेल्ट माने भीख मांगना इन द पास्ट दे ट्रेन द चिल्ड्रन इन दिस आर्ट नाउ दीज बेगर्स डू नॉट नो एनी अदर आर्ट एक्सेप्ट बेगिंग दे हैव नो आइडिया दैट बेगिंग इज अ कर्स Secondly in our country poverty and unemployment are very common most of people are unemployed most of the people go to their beds hungry they do not have enough to dress themselves and their children but circumstances bad circumstances make them lose their sense of honor mane ehsas izzat they are forced mane majboor hona to beg to see them others are also encouraged mane hausla badhna in this way the number goes on increasing mane badhna Thirdly, Pakistanis are very religious. Many Mazhabi in their outlook of life. Many of them are illiterate. Many na khwanda. Two. They are very generous. Many sahi. They want to go to heaven by offering donations. Many ate. To the beggars, moreover, they are afraid. Many dare huye of the curse. Page number hundred and ninety-six. Many badua of a beggar. This patronizing many sarparastana attitude is increasing the number of beggars. Lastly, it is said. that the profession of begging is very charming and full of adventures once somebody wanted to write a thesis mane makala on beggars for his phd he decided to pass a few days among them so that he could gain first hand material but once he joined the beggars he never liked to come out of them number 3 solution of the problem of begging certain steps are necessary to solve this problem of the beggars first the people should be educated and freed from ignorance mane jahalat and superstition mane toham parasti they will see things for themselves will realize the importance of this problem and do something for the really poor and miserable persons secondly economic causes which are responsible mane zimmedar for the poverty of our people should be removed mane hatana agriculture should be brought on a scientific level industry should be advanced mane badhna thirdly indiscriminate mane bila imtiyaz arms giving mane kharat must be discouraged by giving a beggar a handful of rice or one or two rupee we cannot be really kind to him we should try to give him some work and make him a useful citizen mane shahri fourthly the poor and the wretched mane musibat zada the blind and the lame the weak and the infirm the deaf and the dumb who beg for their lives should be looked after in home maintained for the purpose mane maqsad lastly the arms of law should be long enough to reach the professional माने पेश पेशावर बेगर्स बी स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ टू स्टैम्प दैम आउट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द बेगर प्रॉब्लम विल चेक ह्यूज वेस्टेज ऑफ मैन पावर दिस विल इनडायरेक्टली हेल्प अ रैपिड इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन ऑफ आर कंट्री पेज नंबर हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी सेवन एस से नंबर सेवनटीन हाउसिंग प्रॉब्लम इन पाकिस्तान नंबर वन इंक्रीज इन पॉपुलेशन हाउसिंग इज अ वेरी कॉमन प्रॉब्लम इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द बिग सिटीज ऑफ पाकिस्तान एज द पॉपुलेशन माने आबादी ऑफ आर टाउन्स has been increasing a very fast speed for the last 20 years the numbers of new houses has not kept pace with the increasing number of inhabitants mane bashinde although many new cities have cropped up and hundred of new colonies have been built still the problem of getting a suitable accommodation mane jaga in big cities is very difficult number 2 basic need of man housing is a very important problem it is considered to be one of the basic needs of man as everybody is not able to build a house for himself there is always a demand for rental houses from the economic mane mashi point of view too it is uneconomical to build a house for one's own residence mane rehaish then to live in a rented house therefore a businessman would like to invest his money in some paying business rather than build a house again thousands mane hazaro of villagers have shifted to cities and naturally they require hundreds of houses to live in thus there has grown a great shortage of houses in almost all the big cities of pakistan number 3 step take step taken by government our government has also done something to solve this problem in every big city there have been set up improvement trusts and development board to build new colonies and satellite towns but that is not sufficient page number 198 some of these trusts and boards have wasted the government money and their achievements are not satisfactory in lahore alone 
the improvements trust has built more than four dozen colonies in the last 20 years but most of them are either ill planned or badly managed these agencies could greatly help the public in solving their house problems if there had been some common sense sincere money mukhlasana efforts and fair play some private efforts have been made to build new colonies but these too have not produced the desired results most of the privately managed colonies are ill built and do not ha- have even the basic facilities as roads parks schools drainage system mane gande pani ka nikas and market number 4 house building finance corporation another kind of housing agency called the house building finance corporation has also been set up by the government it has helped in solving the housing problem to some extent mane hasal but as this agency is run on business lines it has not been of much use it advances loans for building houses at a very high rate of interest and people can hardly afford these terms number 5 call for determined efforts thus the housing problem in pakistan is still unsolved it calls for a determined efforts but both on the part of government as well as the public as most of our countrymen are very poor and cannot afford building houses of their own it is fair mane munasib if the government may take make a plan to give houses to every homeless mane bhegar family on easy installments mane ek sath or on higher purchase basis in this way page number 199 even a poor man will be able to own a house in a few years time moreover the government should also make a law compelling mane majboor karna all industrialist mane sanatkar to provide housing facilities to their employees mane mulazim this will ease the situation a good number of middle class colonies should also be built in every city and only the needy mane zaruratmand be settled there it is in this way that our housing problem can be solved sc number 18 smuggling or a national evil number 1 meaning of smuggling smuggling is one of the biggest evil of modern times it means to carry things illegally mane ghair qanuni taur par into or out of a country or through customs without paying the duty sometimes in one country a thing is cheaper mane sasti than it is in another country usually there are restrictions mane pabandiyan on the transfer of such things but the smugglers take risk mane khatra and continue their business they carry cheap things to a country where these are sold at high prices the favorite articles mane cheeze of a smuggler are gold silver opium charas radios transistor watches fountain pens tape recorder and costly cloth of superior quality in spite of mane ke bawajood various attempts to remove smuggling the business goes number 2 causes of smuggling causes of the prevalence mane raij of smuggling are four first the desire to become rich overnight mane rato rat works age number 200 at the root of smuggling this is an age of competition and a man is judged by his wealth so everybody wishes to be richer than the other legal business yields money but slowly smuggling is risky mane khatarnak but it brings in money in no time secondly there is a great difference between the price of a thing in one country and its price in the other prices of gold silver and opium mane a few especially vary mane mukhtalif hona at different places smuggling promises large amounts of profits thirdly the smugglers are a well organized group they have inexhaustible funds of money cars jeeps steamers and ammunition at their disposal there is a lack of proper arrangements to check this evil land sea custom departments are poor in resources lastly corrupt mane badunwan officers accept bribes mane rishwat and let the smugglers go in case of any complication mane pechidgi of danger they resign mane istifa dena and start living independently as a result the smugglers thrive mane phalna phoolna number 3 smugglers are the enemies of the country smugglers are the greatest and most dangerous enemies of the country the harms of smuggling are countless this causes a great loss mane nuksan to the national resources mane qaumi zarae national wealth and the national economy mane qaumi maishat the wealth of one country flows to the other 
smuggling of gold decreases the gold reserves mane sone ke zakhair in a country this bad practice of practice of smuggling also creates many evils the smugglers offer large bribes mane rishwat to the custom officers and to police officers some are tempted mane lalach mein aana and help the smuggling by ignoring them the prices of the things smuggled to other countries page number 201 rise up a smuggler is the worst mane battarin sort of man because he does not spare even his country smuggling is the worst practice because it does harm to the country number 4 stopping of smuggling to stop smuggling the smugglers should be given exemplarily mane ibrat amos punishment the staff custom and police on the borders should be very active dutiful mane firstnas loyal mane wafadar and honest the people living near borders should cooperate with the government we should at once inform the government if we learn that such and such person is taking part in smuggling ours is a developing country mane tarakki pazir mamalik to make our progress rapid mane tez we should uproot mane ukhad phenkna smuggling from the country essay number 19 adulteration or a national evil number 1 effects of adulteration the toll mane mehsool of human life that adulteration takes it only next to war the damage done is not only immediate mane fori but far reaching mane duras it had a very bad effect on human mechanism mane insani machine vitality in man is lowered paralysis mane foliage has become very common because of adulteration widespread spread blindness mane andhapan in the people of pakistan owes much to this bad practice outbreak of certain disease and epidemics are also the after effects mane nataij of adulteration in a word adulterators are like white ant mane dimak who are eating away national health without much apparent damage mane bazahir nuksan nazar nahi aata page number 202 number 2 history of adulteration history shows that this moral evil mane akhlaqi burai existed even among the greeks and the romans thousands of years ago it could not become the talk of the town only because of the want of statistical data mane adad o shumar on the subject moreover the detection in those days depended to a great extent on the delicacy of the individual there were no chemical test usually adulteration went undetected today it has become very common the lure of profit mane munafiq ka lalach has drawn unscrupulous mane baddianat souls to this field number 3 different modes of adulteration these people employ mane istemal karna different modes mane tarika of adulteration to deceive the people first they mix a thing of an inferior quality with that of a superior quality mark is adulterated with milk powder or scratch mane nishasta butter is adulterated with grease or white oil ghee is adulterated with animal fat or coconut oil mane nariyal ka tel edible oil is adulterated with mobile oil turmeric mane haldi is adulterated with yellow earth secondly they substitute in whole or in parts one thing for another like sacharin mane screen for sugar thirdly the adulterators abstract valuable constituents of a thing such as butter from milk fourthly they color the original article so that it may seem superior fifthly they use certain chemicals to preserve mane mehfooz karna food without knowing that they are injurious mane muzir to health mane sehat sixthly they add decomposed mane kharab articles to good ones rotten eggs sold with fresh eggs lastly phone scream and zerf are sold for pond scream and surf page number 203 point number 4 steps to check adulteration an elaborate mane wasi system of control is needed to check adulteration an organized committee should be set up and provided with sufficient resources mane zarai it should investigate the dirty habits mane khurak ki adat of the people and the pattern of food consumption mane kharch rewards for informants mane itla dene wale of successful cases should be announced detection should be simple to avoid delays and technical assistance firms using edibles should employ mane mulazim rakhna scientists to see that their products are free from harmful effects honest labeling giving character origin amount 
and constituent parts of the food should be introduced. The adulterators should be openly tried and awarded exemplary punishments. Mane misali sazain. People's sense of responsibility. Mane ehsas zimidari. Should be appealed to on more moral basis. Mane khlaki sata. It is only then that we can eradicate this evil from society. Essay number 20. Life today is better than in the past. Number 1. Meaning of the word better. Is life today better than it was in the past? The answer to this question depends on the meaning we give to the word better. If we take it in the sense of the material, comforts and material advancement, the reply would be in the positive. But if this word better signifies higher values of life, such as spiritual advancement, peace of mind and happiness, the answer would be in the negative. Let us examine both views. Page number 204. Point number 2. Life is more comfortable today. Today we are told that man has progressed wonderfully during the last one century. Manisadi. Things which, we, which looked impossible to our forefathers are very common affairs nowadays. We are able to perform a journey of thousands of miles in a few hours most comfortably. Mane Aram se. We are able to speak to a friend on the other corner of the globe. Mane Dunya. Thanks to the invention of television. We are able to see the speaker's form and figure. Electricity is our ever-ready maid servant or Aladdin's lamp in our hand. We press button and it does hundred and one things for us. Medical sciences has provided wonderful remedies mane ilaj, for curing our diseases. Modern surgery has reduced mane kam karna, pain and torture mane duk, of an operation. It has made it possible to operate upon. Mane Chirat karna. The very complicated cases in a very easy and confident mane pur etamad manner. The radio supplies mane mahaya karna as the latest news and the speeches of the learned scholars. The huge factories are turning out mane nabana articles in millions for the use of the common man. When we listen to all these advantages, we are tempted mane lalach me ana to say that life is more comfortable for us than it is used to be in the past, but not, there is another side of the picture as well. Number 3. Man is not happy. Today we see that man is not happy in spite of so much progress. As Bertrand Russell says, it is not so great a thing to travel at the rate of 500 miles an hour as the object for which the journey is performed. We have so many factories, but we have not been able to banish hunger and nakedness. Mane Ariani. On the contrary, the problem of food, page number 205, and clothings is becoming acute and acute day by day. The number of people who are starving, mane nafis karna, and naked, mane nangi, is simply appalling, mane khofnak. Scientific advancement, mane tarakki, has provided immense comforts for the rich man, but nothing for the poor. The economic relations of different classes have created very complicated Mane Pechida conditions. There is the class war between the capitalists and the laborers. The suggested remedy, Mane Ilaj, is communism. But it also is usurped, Mane Ghazab Karna, all rights from the individual. The horrible weapons are an impending, Mane Latka Hua, danger of war. Number four, mechanical civilization. Ours is a mechanical civilization. It is valued by the laws of machines, not by moral or spiritual laws. Man has been changed into a tool, mane ozar, into a piece, mane purza, of machine. He has been devoid, mane mehroom, of finer feelings. No one is happy today, whether a millionaire, mane lakpati, or a laborer. The peace of mind and contentment, mane kanat, enjoyed by our forefathers is gone forever. The high cost of living, the price controls and their failures have made life miserable. Mane Taklif De Dishonesty, selfishness and greediness Mane Lalachpan prevail everywhere. Medicines have been invented to cure us, but bombs are there to kill us in millions. So on the whole, it is right to say that life today is not better than it was in the past. Essay number 21. Democracy as compared with dictatorship. 
Number 1. Meaning of Democracy Democracy is a system, mani nizam, in which the people elect, mani chunte hai, their representatives, mani numayinde. The representatives, page number 206, of the people form the government. The representatives also form opposition, mani hasbe ikhtilaf. The representatives of the people sit in assemblies and make laws for the country. There are a number of political parties, mani siyasi partiyam, in a democracy. 2. Meaning of Dictatorship Dictatorship is a system in which one person or one party rules over the people. The person who rules is called dictator. He does not allow others to say or do anything against him. He does not give political freedom to others, but he may take decision and act quickly. He can bring about a great change in the country for the good of the people. Democracy generally works slowly. Number 3. Election in Democracy There are general elections in democracy from time to time. Mane vaktan fa vaktan. The people can easily change their ruler by electing new ones. But in a dictatorship, the people cannot change the government so easily. Members of only one party can fight elections in a dictatorship. The same party goes on ruling over the country even after general elections. Number 4. Democracy Better System of Government Democracy is a better system of government than others. In it, people enjoy more political freedom. They can criticize, mane tankeed kar sakte hain, the government and change its rulers. For example, the people and their representatives in America did not like President Nixon to rule. They easily changed him and got a new president. In a dictatorship, the people cannot openly criticize the government. They cannot easily change their rulers even when they are not working well. Page number 207 Number 5 Freedom of Press in a Democracy In a democracy, newspapers, radio and television are quite free. Persons from all parties can express their ideas through them. But in a dictatorship, the government controls them. Number 6 Conditions for the Success of Democracy Democracy in any country can succeed on some conditions. First of all, the people in general should be properly educated. Rightly educated people can understand the policies of political parties and vote wisely in elections. They can elect suitable candidates for assemblies. Secondly, the people in general should be prosperous. Then their votes cannot be purchased. Thirdly, the people should enjoy the basic freedoms. For example, freedom of speech, freedom of publication. Freedom of joining a political party, of one's choice, etc. Number 7. Equality before the law. Equality before the law is perhaps the most important democratic principle. All persons, high and low, rich and poor, should be punished if they break the law of the land. If everyone is afraid of the law, democracy will itself act according to the law and constitution. It will allow all political parties to function and take part in elections freely. We should have as much democracy as possible. But to have democracy without fulfilling, mane pura kiye bagair, the condition is to make its failure certain. Or as someone jokingly said, to have democracy without education and wisdom is to put the cart before the horse. Ulti baat karna, ghode ki dumme lagam lagana. Page number 208, essay number 22, Pollution, number 1, a worldwide problem. Pollution, mane aludki, is a worldwide problem. With every passing day, it is becoming more dangerous. International, mane ben laqwami, efforts and cooperation is needed to solve it before this earth is laid waste and barren, mane banjar. It is the biggest enemy of our environment, mane mahol. It is just like an epidemic. The air, the water, and the food are under constant touch of pollution. The air is the most important item for our survival. Mane baka, we consume mane samal karna, 12 kg air in 24 hours. We can live for about 5 weeks without food and 5 days without water. But without air, we can survive no longer than 5 minutes. The air has been polluted and it is dangerous for human health. Number 2. 
big cities and industrial estates in large cities and industrial estates the atmosphere has become polluted every hour smoke from cars buses and factories is adding more and more poison mane zeher to the atmosphere millions mane lakho of factories across the globe are discharging their waste into the streams and rivers this waste contains mane mushtamil hona a variety of poisonous mane zehreeli acids and metals a large number of fish living in these contamin contaminated rivers and streams die those which survive absorb so much of this poison that they become unfit for human use when human beings eat these fish they also absorb the poison and fall ill page number 209 number 3 irrigation of crops and fruit trees when crops and fruit trees are irrigated mane sarab with contaminated water the poison gets into the food grains vegetables and fruit eventually mane aakhir kar it reaches the human body and causes various diseases the human body was not made to feed on deadly poisons and that too in large quantity almost all factories discharge some kind of poisonous substance into the air or water or both some of these poison are mildly harmful mane nuksan de while others are very dangerous number 4 pollution in pakistan in our country the problems of pollution is becoming serious mane shadeed a number of surveys in certain industrial areas shows that the problem of pollution is real in kasur for example waste water from tanneries has poisoned the subsoil water the ravi in punjab and leari and malid streams in karachi receive hundreds of tons of waste daily even in the countryside the use of insecticides is fast poisoning the air water and land number 5 solution of pollution to make an area pollution free we will have to fight on all fronts mane mahaz because the pollution is like a chain mane zanjeer having so many links mane kadiyan immense efforts should be made by the government as well as by the individuals mane afrad nature has great power of regeneration mane ahya but human beings have have every greater ability mane salahiyat to destroy mari hills environment has suffered partly from tourism but more from the construction of huge mane bade bangalows villas and roads